Okay, first up. We have some more melt ink filament. Um, made in the USA, this is a really good quality filament. This is translucent. I mean, it's clear, but you know, it's not perfectly clear, so it's called like translucent, mm -hmm. uh, PLA material. Oh, hold on. Live, live ink demo. Hi, it's happening. You can see it's like translucent. Uh, it's 2.85 uh, millimeter. Great for your three millimeter machine. Most of the machines that we sell and use now are three millimeter uh, rather than 1.75. Uh, so yeah, we got clear. Yeah, we also have black. We also got black, which I'll show. Same deal. PLA, very high quality, known Pedro, love this stuff. They say it's great. Made in Florida, which is a wonderful state as well. That's right. 2.85 millimeter works great with your three millimeter machine. Nice eight of it black. Okay. Next up. Okay. Well, Sensor. Sorry, that was just me putting the film away. Uh, okay. This is a Dean production. We've actually looked at the sensor. We actually shut off the sensor like um, like a year ago on sh on uh, Desclay Data. This is the uh, AS7262 six bin spectral sensor. So um, we've had some color sensors that can do red, green, blue sensing. So you can do like color temperature sensing. This is a very interesting sensor and it has six bins. So it's not a, like a spectroscopy machine. Those are extremely expensive, but it does give you six bins, which is pretty good. Um, if you illuminate something with a broad spectrum light, you can see what color is reflected off of it. And like I said, most sensors only do red, green, and blue, and like they have a coating. This actually has like a tuned um, silicon grating. So it's kind of neat. It could be useful for um, scientific experiments, microfluidics, all sorts of like cool scientific Fair stuff. Enough. Um, biology. I know, like, you know, there's been a couple projects where people try to detect food based on um, spectral sensing. So, that's cool. Hold on. So, if I turn off the lights, you can see there is some red light because you can see it makes us look really good. The lights here are reddish. So, you see, like, orange and red bins are um, high. And then, if I turn on this light for the overhead, oh, yeah. you can see it's a very blue light. Um, because and you can even tell it's kind of blue by looking here. It's a very bluish light. Um, so you see the blue uh, bin and then the yellow bin because it's a, you know it's LED light. So it's basically a, a blue LED with a yellow phosphor coating. Um, not as much red and not as much purple. We added a, um, a full spectrum LED on here. Uh, this demo doesn't show it because it would just blind you. Um, five seven hundred K uh, Kelvin. Uh, color temperature LED that you can use to reflect off objects. That's what the data sheet specifies. So um, use one of those. Uses I squared C. Uh, we have a circuit Python and an Arduino library. Um, it also has a UART interface that has like AT commands. So you could use this with a computer with like an FTDI or, or uh, Scilabs cable. So if you have something that doesn't have I squared C but does have UART, uh, there's also a UART interface, you get it for free. And we just burn on the firmware for you, has level shifting. It's just easy to use and we have example code again for both Arduino, IDE, and also CircuitPython. So it's a really easy, okay. fun sensor to use. All right, and tonight the star of the show, besides you and the Adafruit community, Metroic is here. Yay! <laughs> Take the train to learn in town. Sorry, I got a little <laughs> excited there. All right, so it's here. Uh, okay, so this is the Metro X. Um, we basically redesigned our uh, learning electronic kits to use the Metro. And we've added a whole bunch of stuff as well. We actually, this is a coming soon for a very long time, but we finally have it in the shop. So I'll just go through all you get. You get a Metro 328. It's Arduino IDE compatible. Just select Uno in the drop down, and you can use it. Same, comes with um, the LEDs on the edge. Uh, on off power switch which we like uh cp2104 usb serial converter supported by all operating systems you get a half size breadboard a breadboard mounting plate um some premium jumper wires you get like 60 jumper wires um new we added a character lcd so you get a 16 by 2 character lcd so that's fun you can do some projects where it prints out uh, stuff on a display you get a 9 volt battery adapter you get a micro usb cable to program and power and debug servo 10 green LEDs, one big blue LED, 10 red LEDs, 
RGB LED, and you also get uh, new in this kit an IR receiver, which is right here, and an IR remote. That's good for making remote control projects without needing to get like Bluetooth or Wi Fi involved. Um, also, have two buttons a relay, uh, 74 HC595 motor that's standard. We also are giving you a headphone jack. We're going to do some projects with audio, so um, giving you a headphone jack makes it really easy to plug in your headphones. Piezo beeper and a new upgraded booklet. Do you want me to show off the booklet? Because yes. it's kind of cool. We've been working on this forever. So we redid the booklet. Um, we've added um, fritzing diagrams, which we think will be easy for people to follow. Um, new code examples in some places. And um, most importantly, on the Adafruit Learning System, we now have a Metro guide with even more examples. So this, this project book gives you 13 examples, but there's yeah. another 10. Shout out to Brent who worked on this, who's in the chat. Looks pretty good, right, Brent? This is the first time I think yeah, you've seen it Yeah, Brent's like, when is this gonna be done? Yeah. We finally did it. So he worked really hard all winter break. We had a couple updates. We wanted to like get everything you know ready to kit. Um, but the Adafruit.it Metro X guide, check that out. That's um, Brent and Asher did a whole bunch of cool guides. Yep. Uh, for this project so not only do you get the 13 projects that are kind of standard here but um, you'll also get a bunch of um, more circuit guides that kind of give you through the basics of like how to hook up an LCD and then bigger projects like how to make an alarm clock for example yeah. that takes all the pieces that you've learned to make bigger and better projects so we've got a really good base and there's gonna be more projects coming out soon yeah we're all too good at in design now okay so that's really Metro good at design so that's, that's Metro X, X. Uh, so pick that up. It's uh, more, more, more. We've added more stuff than ever to this kit to make it um, the best way to learn how to program. Zoom. Okay, Lady Ada. Take me away, Metro X. Yep. Okay. New, new, new.